Magandang buhay, isang magandang araw mga mag-aaral. Ngayon ay malalaman na natin kung ano nga ba ang sagot sa 10 minus 3 plus 4. Pero bago po yan, ay uh, huwag niyong kakalimutang uh, mag-subscribe. Pindutin niyo na rin po ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga i-upload ko, i-upload ko pang uh, videos. Ito na po, simulan na natin. Paano nga ba natin isisimplify itong expression na to? Bago po natin ito isimplify, tatlo po ang dapat nating tandaan. Meron tayo ditong procedure o steps to simplify an expression. Basahin po natin. Pero huwag niyo masyadong intindihin ito kasi napakadali. Ito lang yung rule. Number one, first step. Perform all operations indicated within parentheses. Pangalawa, do multiplications and divisions in order from left to right. And finally, number three, do additions and subtractions in order from left to right. Kung makikita niyo po, nilagyan ko ng underline yung M, D, A, S. Yan po kasi yung ating order of operations. Natatandaan ko nung uh, elementary ako o high school yata, yung teacher namin. Uh, para raw madali namin ma-memorize ang order of operations, ito lang ang tandaan namin. My dear Aunt Sally. Sulat natin ano? M, D, A, S. My dear Aunt Sally. Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Yan po yung order of operation ng sunod-sunod when we simplify an expression. Okay, simulan na po natin. 10 minus 3 plus 4. Tingnan natin yung step number 1. Meron bang parenthesis na naka-indicate? Wala. So, cross out na natin yung number 1. Pangalawa, do multiplications and divisions in order from left to right. Meron bang multiplication at saka division? Wala. Pangatlo, do additions and subtractions in order from left to right. So, ayun, addition at saka subtraction. Third step or third procedure is applicable in this expression. 10 minus 3 plus 4. Ibig sabihin, susundin natin yung operation na yan from left to right. Simple, simple, ano? 10 minus 3 is 7. 7 plus 4 equals 11. 10 minus 3 is 7 plus 4 equals 11. Ayan, simple, simple po, ano? 10 minus 3 plus 4 is equal to 11. Huwag po natin gagawin na 10 minus 3 plus 4 is 7. Kung 3 plus 4 ay 7, 10 minus 7 equals 3. Mali po yun. Kasi ito ang turo sa atin sa number 3 procedure. Gawin daw natin ang addition at subtraction in order from left to right. Okay? Ngayon, punta na po tayo sa ating second example. 4 plus 6 times 2. There are two operations. Addition and multiplication. Ano sabi sa atin? Kapag ka Merong multiplication, ano sabi? Pag mayroong multiplication and divisions, gawin natin siya from left to right. So, uunahin muna natin yung multiplication, iuhuli natin ang addition o kung meron mang subtraction. Pero walang subtraction, ano? So, dito muna tayo, 6 times 2. Kasi yan yung ating order of operation. 6 times 2 is 12. Ayan. Kopyahin na po natin yung 4. So, 4 plus 12. Again, yan yung pagsisimplify niyan. 4 plus 12 is equal to 16. Simple, no? Huwag po natin ipo 4 plus 6, 10 times 2 equals 20. Mali. Kasi, according dito sa ating uh, steps, unahin natin ang multiplication division. Tsaka pa lang natin isusunod ang addition at subtraction. O sa pagkakataon na to, meron tayong multiplication. So, unahin natin yon. 6 times 2 is 12. So, siya ay magiging 4 plus 12 is equal to 16. Okay? Okay, ngayon. Punta tayo sa number 3. 
12 divided by 6 times 2. Okay, anong operations ang involved? Division at saka multiplication. So, nandito siya sa step number 2. Simple lang rin, iyong operate natin siya in order from left to right. O, from left to right, this is now equal to 12 divided by 6 is 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Ayan, simple-simple yan, no? Inapply lang po natin dito ang ating procedure o step number 2. Okay, another example, number 4. Last example natin. 4, or number 4 is 2 times 6 plus 1 plus 4 squared minus 14 divided by 2 equals, yan, equals. Medyo uh, ilang operations ba involved dito? Uh, involved na po ang apat na operations. Addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Ayan. Ano ang sabi sa atin dito? Unahin muna natin. Number 2 po tayo ang i-apply natin. Unahin natin ang multiplications and divisions in order from left to right. Okay, from left to right, hanapin natin ang O oh, meron pa pala parenthesis. Kung napansin niyo po, merong parenthesis, ano? Doon tayo sa number 1. Number 1, meron pala siyang parenthesis. Kasi dapat sa mga sa ating uh, procedure, sa ating 3 steps in order po siya. Kung meron siyang parenthesis, yun ang uunahin natin. So meron pala siyang parenthesis, unahin natin yung procedure Number one. Unahin natin, ibig sabihin lang po nito, ito yung uh, removing parenthesis. Kung ilan man yung mga pare, may mga parenthesis dyan, yan muna ang uunahin natin bago yung multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, unahin natin. Ha? This is now equal to 2. Unahin natin yung parenthesis. 6 plus 1 equals 7 plus 4 squared minus 14 divided by 2. Ayan. Kinopya lang po natin ito. 2, unahin natin yung may parenti 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Okay, ayan na, no? Then, meron pa rin po siyang multiplication. Meron pa rin siyang parenthesis. Meron siyang division. O, dito muna tayo sa may parenthesis. 2 times 7 is 14 plus, simplify na po natin yung 4 squared. 4 squared is, ibig sabihin yan, pagka 4 squared, 4 times 4. You will multiply the base times by itself. So, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 minus 14 divided by 2. Okay, ano na yung susunod natin ngayon? Tatlong operations na lang. Addition, subtraction, and division. So, doon sa ating order of operations na may dear ang sali, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, mauna ang division bago sa addition at subtraction. So, ito muna. 14 Divide by 2 is 7. Kopihin natin, ano po? Equals 14 plus 16 minus what is 14 divided by 2? 14 divided by 2 is 7. Yan. So, ang natin na lang na sa atin ay 14 plus 16 minus 7. O, napakasimple, di po ba? Ito na ang isusunod natin. Procedure number 3. Since ang natitira na lang na operations ay addition at subtraction, ito ang applicable number 3. Iyo operate natin siya in order from left to right. Okay, ngayon. This is now equal to 14 plus 16 is 30, 30 minus 7. And 30 minus 7 is equal to 
23. So, sa number 4 na 2 times 6 plus 1 plus 4 squared minus 14 divided by 2, the answer is 23. Okay? Maliwanag na po. Ito lang ang tatandaan natin. Kung meron siyang multiplication or kung meron po siyang parenthesis, yun ang unahin natin. Na isimplify. Susunod, kung meron siyang multiplication or division, yun ang isusunod natin. Kung wala naman po, yung number 3, addition at subtraction from left to right. Okay? O ngayon, kayo naman ang gagawa. Bibigyan ko kayo ng exercises. Eto. Exercises. Yan. O, sige. Bibigyan ko po kayo ng time to uh, perform these operations or simplify these expressions. Okay. Ang gawin nyo, stop nyo muna ang inyong uh, video na pinapanood and then Pag nasagutan nyo na, ituloy nyo na pong i-play. Okay? Ito na ang ating mga tamang sagot. Ayan. Number 1, 5 plus 3 times 1 equals 8. Okay, explain natin, ano? Addition at saka multiplication ang operations. O meron tayong order of operations. Siyempre, multiplication muna. 3 times 1 is 3. Tama? Okay. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Kaya natin ito nasagutan mentally. Okay. Kung kabisado nyo lang ang steps of procedure natin. Number 2. 30 minus 2 times 3. O meron siyang subtraction at saka multiplication. Order of operations. Unahin natin ang multiplication. 2 times 3. 6. So, 30 minus 6 equals 24. Number 3, 15 times 6 divided by 3, meron siyang parenthesis, divided by 10. So, yung first step ang i-apply natin. Aalisin ang parenthesis. Apply natin. From left to right, 15 times 6 since involved ang multiplication at division. 15 times 6 is 90. 90 divided by 3 is 30. Or 30 divided by 10 equals 3. Number 4, 9 minus 1 plus 5. O simple, simple. Ang operations na involved ay subtraction and addition. Follow step number 3. O do additions and subtractions in order from left to right. That is 9 minus 1 is 8. Plus 5 is equal to 13. Ayan. Uh, I hope na natutunan po ninyo ang pag-simplify natin ng uh, expressions involving four fundamental operations. And uh, sana po, uh, tuloy-tuloy kayo nga mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel, Billy De Belen. Search nyo lang po. Or, Kung nakapag-subscribe na po kayo at napindod nyo ang uh, notification bell, madali nyo na po makikita. Muli po, isang magandang araw sa inyong lahat ng mga mag-aaral. Bye-bye!